my name is Edward Manning. Hello, everybody. Um, this is like take three. I keep stopping and starting it. Anyways, um, I am currently residing in Arizona. Um, I've been here about five years, but for the most part, I grew up in Michigan. Um, there's a little town there called Frankenmuth, Michigan. That's where I went to middle school, high school. Then I went to Kalamazoo, Michigan, and went to Western Michigan Uni University and got my teaching degree there for um, science. I also enjoy teaching math too, but um, I went for science. And um, in terms of what led me here, I used to teach uh, martial arts, taekwondo, and gymnastics to kids like six to all the way to adults. And just my wanting to teach something to somebody else. I, I really enjoyed passing that knowledge on to somebody else. So martial arts is really what got me involved in teaching. And so I came out here to Arizona, do some teaching with science and math. I've done middle school math and middle school science. I'm looking at my phone here just to answer the question. Um, what do you do for fun? So I love to do puzzles. I actually have this 2,000 piece puzzle to actually put together one time. Um, that was a real fun project. I also like to play some video games, um, kind of retro style, so Super Nintendo game, Mario. Um, I also have two daughters, five years old and seven years old. So I spend time with them, reading. Um, when it's a little cooler here in Arizona, we try and get them to go out and go bike riding and go to the park. But it's been a little warm right now, so we're kind of indoors for the summer. But hey, um, I also do some bike riding too. And then um, tell us a funny or memorable teaching moment. I'm sorry if I'm going to go over my limit here, but I'm trying to keep it under three minutes. Um, I used to teach um, direct instruction to the class, and that got real boring. It got boring for the kids, it got boring for me. I didn't like to talk for 30, 40, 50 minutes at a time. So I ended up getting some ideas from another co-teacher, as well as a master teacher, that said put them in groups, let them learn from each other. I was a little hesitant to try that, but I actually ended up trying that. And um, I put them in groups of like four to five, um, this is for teaching math, and I noticed that they really learned from each other. Um, I would put them in like, Five, five groups of five, and then I'd just kind of be the facilitator and I'd go around the room and sit at a group and listen to what they're saying and help them out and show them a problem or two to find out how to solve it. And so that was really a memorable moment. It was a teachable moment because it was just like I thought that only kids could learn from direct instruction. When in reality, they learn from each other and they just need teachers there to be a facilitator. To help them along but they need to find the answer on their own anyways um i hope you enjoyed looking at you know my room behind me and listening to what i got to say um i do have a little sarcasm in my voice sometimes but this was all serious everything i said was serious but anyways um thank you for listening and uh